guys how are you guys doing i hope you're well guess what today i'm up in the Ebri area i'm going to be taking you around to showcase a variety of lands lands within different budgets from low to high basically anything that you're wanting you're probably going to find in this video so do stay tuned i'm doing this video in collaboration with royal kingdom estates so let's go and meet the girls that are going to be taking me around and touring this space with me. Let's go. So these are the lovely ladies that are gonna be taking us around to show us the various lands that are available around here. I've got on my right hand side. Nai, hello everybody. <laughs> and then I've got on my left hand side. My name is Gertrude. And then... Hello, I'm Khadija. Nice to meet you all. <laughs> I'm looking forward to going around with you guys and exploring the land. Yes, yes. we're exactly. looking forward to it too. Yay, Yay let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> As I said, we're exploring some really beautiful lands today. Our first stop is Grey City. We're in a beautiful green area called Ebri Amanfro. This is Grey City. I'm going to get Khadija to talk to us a little bit about Grey City. Grey City is one of the lands that RKE we have as a property. It is situated in Ebri Amanfro. Mm. And it will interest you to know that it is just 25 minutes drive away from the um, Ebri Girls Senior High School and also it has access road linking to the largest interchange in Africa which is the Pokwasi interchange and very soon once the roads are well laid out you will not have difficulty accessing these communities around you and Grey City is very very beautiful and I would say it's breathtaking mm. am I right now? <laughs> yes Khadija you are absolutely correct Grey City embodies so much in terms of amenities not to mention it is located in an area where you will have fresh natural water mm -hmm. so the water that you receive it is untouched untapped and a brie is known for having the freshest water sources in ghana mm -hmm. also with the amenities you're located in a wonderful spot with like you have the adam waterfalls you have the tetequashi coco farms the brie botanical gardens i mean the list goes on when it comes to even tourist destinations okay. so i mean you have the rolling lush hills when you get to see out of your out of the morning out of your window yeah. i mean it's just absolutely breathtaking yeah. it really is yeah mm -hmm. from what i've seen so far it looks absolutely lovely i mean mm -hmm. it is outskirts but i mean not everybody wants to live in the city so That's if you're true. living here you're in the green it's nice and quiet the Ugh. air is fresher it is it's, it's so crisp we just kind of get out of the concrete jungle yes. of being in the city yeah and i mean it is in close proximity to the city mm -hmm. and that's why um here at royal kingdom estates take great care with the location yeah. so you're away from everything but at the same time you have great access yes. into into town yes. but you get a way to just relax right. and chillaxation yes. here really in great nice. city yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's all you're going to be doing if you live out this <laughs> way hey, it yeah is, it is about the chilling for me yeah. yes 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 <laughs> so i said i was going to take you guys to various lands for different budgets so depending on what you can afford this is the first one i made it a point to showcase the most affordable one first how much is this going for khadija great city is mm, i would say the price is very 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 soothing as low as sixty thousand ghana cities okay and as you all know royal kingdom i said we are so benevolent and we care about our clients so if you're not able to pay outright we have the installment payment plan you pay 50 percent, and then you spread the rest across six months <laughs> okay and does that increase the prices the interest on that of course it i mean it comes with i mean a little a little increase of the price that would be 65,000 Ghana cities okay. I mean that is cool right yeah absolutely <laughs> that's absolutely reasonable yeah. yeah so from what I've seen Grey City is huge like mm -hmm. there's 
phase one, phase two, phase three, is it all going to be residential or you're going to have options for commercial property as well? No, we, we're going to have um, options for commercial plot, which will be selling as 180,000 Ghana cities for two plots. Okay. How amazing is that? That's really yes. good. Yeah. <laughs> so this will be for individuals who would want to earn returns on their investments, of mm. course. Yeah, so this place is more like work, play, and relaxation. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's a whole community on its own. It's not just residential. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. So my understanding is we're currently at phase one. Is that right? Yes. Okay. So are people still buying into phase one, or what's happening in that um, in that area? Um, phase one is currently sold out. Okay. Phase two as well, but phase three is available. And like we said. The early bird catches the worm. So. Yes, yes. It's selling out fast, <laughs> fast clearly. Yes. So, yeah, <laughs> you need to get on it as soon as possible. So what kind of um, commercial companies are you hoping to invest here? What Are you are you opening it to only certain types of businesses? What what kind of options do people have if we they want to? We are wanna... open to, for people to be innovative. Mm -hmm. Just like Grey City is a community. Mm -hmm. And there are going to be a lot of people who are going to be staying in here. Right. So individuals who want to open cafes, um, pharmacies, hospitals, schools. Yes, we are open to business to work with them. Yeah, sure. Okay. Welcome, Welcome to, to Black Star Village. Village. to the second land that we're exploring today we're in an area called Brekusu again stunning views beautiful weather really lovely very close to Ibri and all the nice places that people want to see Khadija can you tell me a little bit more about this land that we're on today of course thank you so much Jasmine um, Black Star Village is absolutely beautiful and breathtaking talking about proximity it is located in a place where it has access link into town talking about the Kwabenya Dome, Atomic, and even Medina, you want to have your land situated in such an environment, don't you? <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. I mean, we've explored other lands before coming here today. Yeah. What's special about Black Star Village? Why would someone pick this over the other ones that we've seen earlier on? Black Star Village has an interesting concept behind it. If you think about the name Black Star, meaning African, meaning Black, we are trying to promote pan-Africanism and unity in building our own motherland. So Black Star Village actually embodies the spirit of pan-Africanism, where we even have our street names named after famous advocates of pan-Africanism like Marcus Garvey, we have Martin Luther King, we have the Yasantua, we have Kwame Nkrumah, and I'm sure you may want to live on any of those streets. I want my name on one of those streets. That's what I want. There should be the Jasmine Amma Street only. Oh, right. I would actually love to live in the Marcus Garvey Street. You want to know why? Why? Because he embraced and he had the heart of Pan-Africanism. And I think that's what Black Star Village is embodying, especially for me coming from the diaspora. Mm -hmm. It means a lot to me um, because of our forefathers coming back home 400 plus years later. And that means so much. So I would say Black Star Village embodies all that. And it's almost like his dream is coming to life. That's really cool. If you guys want to buy land here, just convince Danny to put Jasmine Amma so you can buy. <laughs> yes. Buy on the Jasmine Amma street, okay? <laughs> so Khadija, how much is this beautiful land going for? Of course, Black Star Village is going for a cool 150,000 Ghana cities for outright payment. And of course, we have a flexible payment plan that we can work with our clients to allow them to spread the price over six months and pay 160,000 Ghana cities per plot. <laughs> so that's if they pay 50% 50, 50 upfront yes, 50 and then they pay upfront. their rest exactly. over yes. a period of time. Yes, please. Okay, amazing. <laughs> so what's the difference between Gray City and here? Because it's quite a significant jump in terms of price. Yes. So why is this place a little more expensive than Gray City? Well, well I'm glad you asked that, Jasmine. Okay. There is a rule in real estate mm. where three rules. 
location, location, location. Right. Location is everything. So here at Black Star Village, the location is what sells it. Mm. I mean, it's around so many different amenities. You're right next to Ashasi University. Mm. So of course, that comes with a lot. And not to mention a lot of notable people live around this area too. Dignitaries and for my reggae lovers out there, <laughs> Bob Marley's wife, Rita Marley, lives in this area oh, too. Oh, does she? Mm -hmm. oh, you can pay a visit. Then. I know, I should, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, lovely. Okay, cool. <laughs> To the last land that we're going to be viewing today this one is a little more high end i'm sure you guys have seen a little bit of it already the views here are stunning it's a little bit high up as well so the air here is quite fresh um i think it's very close to abokobi and um but even though we came from Mabry, but anyway i'm not going to talk too much about it because i have the expert here who's nigh <laughs> so she will give us more information about this spot that we're at this is called the view by the way Tell me about the view now. Oh yes, there's so much to to talk about when it comes to the view. First of all, the view is located in Abokobi Hills and it not only just encompasses the weather, the weather is just absolutely wonderful, yeah, but I it also it. has the captivating views. Mm. It really does. And a unique part about the view is that if you get the best of both worlds because you are, you have one foot in the Eastern region and one foot in Greater Accra, oh, which I think is really cool. Yeah, absolutely. Mm, it's really, really cool. And um, there's so many wonderful where it's located I mm -hmm. mean, location, location is the key mm -hmm. of wherever you're build, going to build your home and the location, yeah. it's got it. It's um, located near um, the prestigious Peruasi Lodge mm -hmm. and it's also located in the heart of Ashesi University. Right. So, I mean, it just has the possibilities of the view are endless. Yeah. They really are. And I have to say, it's my favorite. I mean, just look at the view and at night, the views are absolutely killer. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you my favorite later on. So get you. I know this place is a little more expensive than all the other lands that we've seen. Mm -hmm. I can see why. It's very pretty. Yes. We're high up as well. So if your house is here, you can see the view. So beautiful. It's very beautiful. So I hope the price is not ridiculous. No, it it's not. Okay. What is so it going for? So at the view is selling for 200,000 Ghana cities. Okay. And you know, considering the fact that lands in a Bri and specifically a Berkusu, are usually coated in dollars. Mm. So I'll say this is a steal. Yeah, that's true. I think around here it's probably like 30K and up or mm -hmm. something like that. So 200,000. And not especially too bad. the real estate opportunities here at the view are endless. Mm. As um, considering individuals who would want to put up hostels and all of that, mm. I think this is the best place to be. For it, yeah. yeah. Amazing. All right. Thanks, Gertrude. All right, Gertrude, so we've seen all the beautiful lands that Royal Kingdom Estates has to offer at the moment. They're all in very good locations. The views are stunning. The Absolutely. price range is quite decent as well. Mm -hmm. What is the plan for infrastructure? Because at the moment, there's nothing on it. And mm -hmm. are people just going to buy it and then you just leave them alone for them no. to build? And <laughs> No, we are not going to do that. Okay. Royal Kingdom Estate is going to constitute a homeowners association. Okay. I would want to elaborate more on the importance of the homeowners association. Mm -hmm. A homeowners association is important because I would say the value of a property is directly dependent on the properties that are around it. Yes. And also, a homeowners association mm. would enforce community standard up Okay. appearance and more okay so royal kingdom estate would liaise with the homeowners mm -hmm. to ensure and contribute towards the infrastructure in the development okay so it'll be the responsibility of the people that are buying of course to to pay, come together yes, and, and also contribute towards that infrastructure okay. however mm -hmm. royal kingdom estate is a construction firm okay. with competent engineers mm. and assistants who would be readily available to provide expert advice and assistance whenever they need be. So okay. we are not going anywhere. We'll be here with them. So, so it's not like they buy and then you neglect them. No, we are not going okay. to do that. <laughs> All right, that's great. That. That's great to know. 
So today I've showcased three different lands with three different budgets between 60,000 Ghana CDs to 200,000 Ghana CDs. So there's a budget for everybody. If you are interested in making any purchases, all their information will be on the screen as well as in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see similar videos, land related, real estate related, make sure you give me a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section below so I know. Don't forget to follow your bliss so na life is short. Follow your bliss na nipa ye den. Follow your bliss na di ebe sibia ye and follow your bliss na den e mada. Take care guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.